and welcome to our channel where the grace notes stitchers i'm corinne i'm colleen and today's probably gonna be a short video yeah. <laughs> uh it's been two weeks uh i'm not really gonna apologize because we had nothing last mm -hmm. week yeah um i had not stitched barely anything maybe two to four hundred stitches the entire week and at this point i can't even tell you what projects that they were on and just we were dying uh it was probably a good month getting everything out and you were busy at work and the last sunday she was ice skating no you weren't mm -mm. i don't know what you were doing but it's just crazy probably napping trying to catch up on everything but sunday because i didn't record i did get 700 stitches on my fox mm. so can i show that yeah okay we doing whips first yeah okay so look at that guy he's a handsome guy what's his name i haven't named him i don't know that i'm going to but handsome guy how's that <laughs> um that's on michelle i'm stitching on michelle uh 40 count linen oh there's the diva i was wondering why she wasn't here with us um so this is my plans so i don't know if we'll have a plans section but in my plans is she your diva this or is my she pig? she's both um mine sure i will be stitching on it today crystal um and i have stitched on it but so i'm gonna show it um my stems I did a little bit and there's my white flower start and it's gonna be like sunflowers i think and then there's like giant daisies. white ones sunflowers daisies that's what i said do i say sunflowers you say it's sunflowers. some little flowers They're doing oh these. some flowers yeah oh. um but yeah so just there sad little and yeah. dreaming of daisies by rosewood manor mm -hmm. and i think she copy and tea dyed that Mm. It's on paper. I ha I found the paper. Uh, so I have that upstairs. Yes. Um, I did get quite a bit stitched on this this week. This week was a good stitching week for me. So I got all of this done. Oh, I had a new start. I don't have it down here. So oops. What's your new start? Gotti. Yeah. Do you want to bring it down? Mm. All right. And then I filled in a little bit in here. So all of this is stitched. And I'm slowly, I'm using the program Markup RXP, I think is what it's called, um, because I can actually, it, it's a give or take, it is not Pattern Keeper. There is no comparison. But because this program, uh, this is by Frosted Pumpkin. Frosted Pumpkin is not supported by Pattern Keeper from what I mm -hmm. yeah. understand. So I can import the program and I can highlight my symbols, mm -hmm. but I can't search my symbols. Yeah. So I haven't decided which I like better, but with Markup RXP, it's not as clear. The, when you zoom in, it's not clear. It's kind of you. fuzzy, but you can search and you can change the sensitivity in the search so that it does help me. So I, I am going to stick it out at least through the end of this project. And I paid for it, so I'm about to use it right now. Um, I should have brought the cover photo down, but you're basically going to see what it looks like. Yeah, my needle doesn't mind her. She doesn't like with my needle minders. Or your needle is... She doesn't like needles oh, in the front no. either. Oh, no, what is that? A. What? It should be the other way. What A? The A just doesn't look like and. Ugh. Oh. She doesn't like the wording, the way that it's are. So it's going to say stressed. Stressed, blessed, and coffee obsessed. And this is by Leela's Studio, and it is called Coffee Obsessed. Is it um, on 40 count? I believe so. It's 40 count is the call for. So this is either 36 or 40. You're doing, I'm doing okay. one you are doing strand over okay. two. So my guess is that it's 40 because mm -hmm. that's my MO with 40. Um, I do have two more, two thing, two berries, coffee berries here and here. And then, of course, I have to go all the way up. And so I'm getting there. I decided this is going to be pretty much my focus right now. Just why? I don't know. I picked it. I, I was going to have my girls pick my next project because I was just tired of the Frosted Pumpkin one. And I was like, I'm going to go down and pick something that I can just work on 
and work on and work on. And I, I was going to bring up a couple choices. And for some reason, this is what I picked because I just walked up to the girls, which they don't care. I just went, never mind. I picked for myself. Oh, is that steam coming out of mm -hmm. the coffee? And I what's thought cool, it looked like a little bear. Like, I didn't have any of this done. Oh, okay. I didn't have that done. I didn't have Obsessed done. Mm -hmm. This cup wasn't even done. So I did I all bear of this. This, the steam from the next other coffee cup I already did. So all of that is new this week. Mm -hmm. So I think I did pretty good with going this route. So I was going to work on it today, but now I want to work on the fox because... He's looking good. Um, and then somebody has a F F O fully <laughs> finished object. So I didn't get to show it on the channel when I just finished my project. Um, you were too excited to get it framed. It just went to the framer for my work, so I, I was with it, you know, pretty much every day. <laughs> oh, it's uh, in this little alcove thingy. Um, so framed right here. <laughs> I have bands of the far east. I just put okay, and then I'll show it slowly. However, you tell me to do. Wait, two seconds. Look at that frame. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard doing it. And Sarah did a great job of sewing it and getting it straight. And it's so pretty. And there's a little note on the back. Oh. Let's see. I don't know. That look. And it's like framed with lots of love. <laughs> but oh it's so beautiful so child and my dad's like i think we need to hang it above the tv yeah i think it's a good place okay we have two weeks to stitch on oof we hopefully we'll record next sunday i'm dying next weekend like my girls are looking at me like Why strangling you me plan date to die <laughs> I know, right? Um, I'm going to cut fabric Monday, Tuesday, and then as soon as I'm done teaching Wednesday, I'm going to start my bag dyeing because, oh no, not Wednesday. I'm not teaching Wednesday. Wednesday's my husband's birthday. Mm. So Thursday, we'll start dyeing. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully get everything out by Saturday. This is all the extras that in between that are not fabric of the month because then we're going to stitch con and then we're going to have to come right home and dye. And we did change our date of guaranteeing to the 20th. I have a video all ready to go. I just have to splice it together. Mm. And then I'll put that out hopefully tomorrow explaining some things. But anyway, we'll come up from StitchCon and die fabric of the month for June. But we are leaving Tuesday. Mm. So hopefully we'll be able to put out a video this Sunday. And then Tuesday, we're leaving town. For the end's graduation on Friday, and then the following Wednesday is Stitch Con. Mm. You ready? No. No. <laughs> but I kept telling you all we got special bags. I finally dug mine out. Mine had this really strong plastic smell. It was all so it's kind of funny. We got them together. Mm -hmm. She got this really pretty blue one, and we got them at the same time. And mine came all bundled up and packaged like you can fold it up like to be like this in big it's in it to yeah, itself it can be folded into itself and you know these were one of those facebook ads and i undid it and, oh whew, mm -hmm. it smelled like plastic and i was like because it was all packaged mm -hmm. in a plastic bag and it's i don't know what material you can even call it it's waterproof and colleen's came loose like mine mm. So Leanne immediately took mine and threw it in the garage on top of the um, freezer. freezer to try to get it to air out. She was like, I don't even want this in the house. So I was like, it's okay, fine, take it out there. I totally forgot about it. And I kept telling her on the video, we need to show our oh, bags. She said it like three times. Yeah. And for the life of me, I didn't even know where mine was. Mm -hmm. And I was out there putting things away. Here it got shoved between our paper bags out there. <sighs> So anyway, so cool. Best $25 bag I ever got, I think, besides <laughs> a project bag. But it's got a zipper inside. It's got all these little bag pouches in here. So I'm that woman who goes to Vera Bradley and goes, oh, I love that bag. And you look at it closer and it's a diaper bag. 
And that's right, because we just love our pockets. I love the pockets. I love the bigness. And it's got this, and it's waterproof. So I love, love, love that. Inside there, there's another zipper pocket. Like, and that's where technically it should be able to zip into itself, which I Yeah, I that was the where it was inside. I don't get of, how it can do Like, that. it can fit over a suitcase, a rolling suitcase. There's another little zipper thing back here. I mean, it can expand. You unzip this and it can get bigger. So these are our suitcases for Stitch Con so that we don't have to take a suitcase. Mm -hmm. So, ah, so, we, so we look like a little bit lightweight, like, like our friend Hannah. <laughs> we won't have giant suitcases everywhere. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's that's haul from a really, really long time ago. I can't even set this back. Well, she'll lay on it, never mind. Paris is down here. There you go, baby. Um, and I'm in a dilemma, like, what to do this week. Because before, I kind of have gauged my time, like, before I teach, that's my sewing time. Mm. So that's been working really well. And then after I teach, that's my stitching time. And um, I started to cut out my next accessory project bag, like the pumpkin-ish one that mm -hmm. I did, the fall black and orange leaves on the front and pumpkins on the inside. Um, and then my husband for Mother's Day ordered me a sewing machine. <laughs> we went and we paid for it for payment plan. But we went and got that all paid for on Thursday, Friday, Friday. And I have my threads and I'm like getting ready to put it on the bobbin. And I'm like, wait, my sewing machine won't be here till the middle of June, but I'm going away. Mm -hmm. So it's like, do I want to start sewing this on my old sewing machine or do I want this to be my first project uh, on this new sewing machine? I haven't decided that yet. Um, but that also means that I can't try to finish it and take it with me. Right. Because I already know it's going to turn out better because the, the lines are straighter that I've cut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and, and things are turning out better. And like, I do know what I'm doing more. And in the master pattern, like I actually wrote down like, my lesser color put here, or like color one, color two, color three, so that I kind of know the actual pattern that I want. So anyway, I'm looking forward to making more of these in the future. They take forever, but they have so many pockets and they're so useful. And I really, really like when I was using it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's mine and it's for me. So if it takes a while, it takes a while. It just means less time or just means I can't use it yet. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's that's my big big news. Um, should I do my haul? You have haul? I have haul. Oh, okay. Uh, my mermaids. Uh, I don't know. Unicorns and dragons came. Did I show you? You were there for the unboxing. Yeah, you were grumpy that day. Mermaids, unicorns, and dragons. Oh my. And let's just say, oh my, some of the things were a little interesting. Kind of good I didn't do an unboxing video. I haven't even undone this all the way. I, I was going to do that for you guys. Because this I really like. Yeah, the pattern I really like. I know it's totally not me, but I love it. Look at that awesome bag. And I like that it's smaller than some of the other bags that they do. Yeah, look at those skulls. I didn't see those. Why did you have to point that out to me? <sighs> Sheesh. We don't usually use skulls. But we're going to pretend those are not human skulls. That'll make me feel better. <gasps> Wait, there's something in there? Purple inside. Oh, okay. Because... It's purple. Nice. It's pink and purple. I don't see skulls. Skulls? What are skulls? Um, This was cool and it is going to stitch con with me. There's something I'm actually taking for somebody as a gift that came in this box because as soon as I opened it, I said, I know who's going to like this. So it's in my stitch con bag. <sighs> Along with Teresa's um, yeah. table lamp. This is just a little tray. And that's adorable. It's thing. adorable. It's, it's vegan leather. 
I just don't want to say pleather. <laughs> but anyway, it's vegan leather. And this is going to StitchCon because mm -hmm. I tend to scatter my bits. My table mates will be really happy to see this. I know. Especially my table mates who have been there with me before. Mm -hmm. Um, Is that it? Oh, wait, no. Here we go. The most adorable little uh, needle minder by Cassie's Needle Minders. I think that's a first. And Fiberlicious Color Unicorn Dreams. What in the world I use this for? I don't know, but it's unicorn. I'll figure it out. Yeah. It's pretty. Uh, these are cute too. And it came with a cup with a mermaid tail inside. If you saw my cupboards, I can't have one more cup. Mm -hmm. Like, I seriously can't have it. It's a big with a straw. Like, I'm just like, <gasps> I cannot have one more cup. That's one thing. I love them, but I have to say no to. Mm -hmm. So when that came, I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I to do with this? It's adorable, but so I was like, oh, well, because my sister has the same circumstance, I was like, I'll ask her if I can give it to her daughter, mm. my niece, because she likes unicorns and mermaids. And before I did that, I was like, I'm just curious what people liked and didn't like out of this box. And in the buy and sell group, I didn't really see anything other than somebody was selling their entire box without even opening it. And then I went into the regular Black Needle Society Mm -hmm. group and a woman says I loved the cup I loved it and my daughter loved it so I gave it to my daughter she put it up on the shelf and the cat knocked it down and broke it so I wrote I'll message you and uh she bought it from me so that worked unfortunately she paid more in shipping than she paid me for the object because i wasn't trying to gouge her or anything like mm -hmm. that but i got it out to her that day she was a happy camper hopefully it's already to her but that was a win-win because -win mm -hmm. it's an adorable cup. it was an adorable cup i should have taken a picture of it but if you go on the black needle society group you'll see it people are selling it or showing it and then, where are the, oh, this actually has Black Needle Society's name on it. They're so pretty. I just need you to see how pretty. So I'm going to, look at this. This will become a bookmark or a floss tag. Probably a floss tag. Because I could probably turn that into two of them. That's really pretty and it's nice and slick. Look at these. I mean, I know I have the Hobby Lobby ones. These are heavier. So, I, I, obviously, I haven't used them yet. But, mm. yeah, they say Black Needle Society. Oh, guess what? I can tell you exactly who manufactured them. No, I can't. Curated by Black Needle Society. Add a little whimsy to your snipping. Cut the thread, the ends of your thread with a horn on these unicorns. All right. Oh, that's okay. Horn. That is a big horn. But, they're cute. They're my colors. Look at that. It's called the Beauty and the Beast. I could do her hair in the uniform instead of the blue. That would be cool because of the pink in her. Mm -hmm. So that would match. Depends on what fabric I used. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, I do like the blue. And I don't believe I own anything by Autumn Lane, do I? I don't know. That's a quest to go looking through patterns. Um, but it's really pretty. I haven't opened that up either, but since we can't see the inside, it doesn't matter. But yeah, beauty and the beauty and the beast. So I was pretty happy with this box. Let's just say that. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I got this a bit ago and what was probably last week, you know, I'm, please excuse crinkles. I'll be quick. Try to be quick. So, um, I'm going to do the Fab 50. Um, it's the uh, Stitch Along, I can't even think of who it's by, but it's the statues, the 50 statues from Walt Disney World, and they're really cool. Mm-hmm. Who, does it say who this is by? That's Fangirl. Yeah, Fangirl Fibers. She dyed the fabric. I did message her because I said I didn't remember picking eight up, because, you know, and 18 then, count is not my favorite. 
I love the size of 18 count. Don't get me wrong. Right. But oh. even when we dye 18 count, it is not my favorite. It's a and little bit scratchier. Yeah, it's a fat half. Um, I gotta serve it. Uh, good thing my serger's still out. So anyway, that's only half of it. Um, it's beautiful. She did a very nice job on it. But she said, oh no, you didn't get a choice. Everybody's getting the eight out. I was like, oh god. Mm -hmm. um, for some reason, I just love the feel of 14 count. I used to think it was picture this plus, but it's just all, well, no, it's swagger because mm -hmm. I like our 14 count too. So it's just the feel of 14 count that I love. So when you compare them, I mean, our 18 count is softer than this, I feel, but um, we beat it to death. Like we iron it, the guts out of them. Yeah. <laughs> no, my daughter yeah. actually does do that when she hangs them. Yeah. Like she yanks those wrinkles no, out. No fabrics have been uh, abused. abused. No fabrics abused here, but she does. She, to hang them to dry and then she irons them. So oh. anyway, yeah, now we have Roland, so figured out what was going on with him but um yeah so I just I prefer the feel 14 count but I love the size of the 18 count mm -hmm. so. but we got a little surprise in our bag because we thought we were just getting the needle minder mm -hmm. which I love oh it's, it's the back. 50th anniversary uh 550 Sal 2022 limited edition that's buzzing on that um Tiffany from Tiffer's World Go watch Tiffany from Tiff Tiffer's World. Um, she's the one who, what's the word? Enabled's not even good enough. Pushed me. She pushed me into that uh, fact that I needed to do this now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's a little persuasive. All right. And then this was the free gift or the extra that we didn't know about. I love that it's rose gold. Uh, I mean, it's kind of coppery, yeah, but it's rose gold. Look at the little tags. I love them, love them, love them. Obviously, I have not started. Tiffany, I think, has her frame done. Like, mm -hmm. ah, but I didn't have any open spots. I have to go check the measurements. Tiffany, I can't remember if it's a bat or if it's large mm -hmm. to take the place of um, uh, life begins after coffee that I had finished. Um, so anyway, that's my haul. I've been trying to be really good. Um, Stitchy Princess just put out a new fairy thing. It's so, so cute. Um, I just have to decide when I'm going to buy that because I still haven't bought my B1. Don't mind what's going on here. It's okay. We're all friends. Colleen, what are your plans? We're, um, at some point getting stuff together to go. So... People were asking me on Zoom last night, what are you taking to stitch on to stitch on? <laughs> I don't know. Pants is a big thing to live up to. That's what she worked on last year. And but everybody stopped at our table yeah, to see Yeah, I'm just going to put a note and just say, like, hey, go look at my pants. I know, if anybody wants to have by, like, hey, you're going to be like, did you see the break table? Yeah, break table. So what project are you taking this year? I think Christmas Grover needs some love. And I guess at least probably cut stitches this year. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, Obviously Daisy is if it's not done. I think it's done. Because you're handing that off to Hannah. Yes. So I'm Through threats, on. you know, if necessary. Yeah. Hannah and I will just gang up. You will stitch in your sleep. <laughs> we'll just gang up on her. Um, uh, I don't, I just don't know how many whips. I, ooh, if I could bring my, my samurai one, I really like that one. I'm going to say yes to that one. Our white peach tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that fabric. Oh, where'd I put my, our fabrics? I don't know. I got a fabric. You did get a fabric. All right. So I forgot. We have one more little piece of home. So our fabric of the month, in case you want to know how to say it. I need to do like a pronunciation guide, mm. like as a page. I have to ask Anna how I can do that. Mm. Um, but you know, no pictures or anything. Just just, just say how to click, click it and then it'll just go. Yeah, just have like the list of what everything means or how to say it. Okay. Um, but it's Talea and it's, uh, it's just a type of meter in music. Mm -hmm. But how the name came out 
is Alan was looking through my music dictionary and he liked the word. <laughs> and then Leanne liked the word. Lauren did not. And then she got a little upset, but it was like, then I came up with something else. And Leanne goes, no, Talia is a lot shorter to write. So guess what? They won. <laughs> so this is Peach. On the even weaves, it does look a little bit more on the pinky side, but it is definitely peach. It, it, I use peach powder dye, so I can tell you it's peach. Um, but on the linen, like one of the linens I dyed yesterday, I had to re-dye something, uh, it always looked orange. So it's it was a 36 count though, and I feel like that just took it a little different than the 32. Um, so that's Talea, and then the kids beat my name again for a shorter name. What was your name? I was thinking, <laughs> because I had just had one, uh, Toffee, Coffee, a Toffee, hmm, it's gonna be like a Toffee Latte of some sort, Toffee, Toffee Almond Crunch, I think. <laughs> something no it's not as caramely and when they call it almond milk i said that looks like almond milk yeah so almond milk one it, sorry i don't mean to get anybody it's stuck on my ear oh <laughs> that was in your face so anyway we oh, we got i love this one strange i like cuts, our neutrals yeah i think this color is going to be this is so cool yeah and i threw a tiny bit of that peach dust into this like just a tad just to make it not so plain so that would be the little tiny bit of marbling that you see mm -hmm. is the peach powder that. dye that i threw in with the main color that i used um because i thought it was boring without it <laughs> so um so yes that is my own blend and i did write it down so that we can recreate it but i forgot to take photos like mad scientist I'm a mad scientist here. Um, no, I forgot to take my three photos of these. Mm -hmm. I could kill, kick myself for this. Um, I am going to be putting on Facebook later this week. Oh my goodness. So two things. I have one of these that ended up with like little orange speckles. Do you want to share the blue one? Probably not. <laughs> um, some orange speckles. So I'll be selling that. And then I also had one that... <clears throat> somebody didn't quite close the lid on speedle the right way oh and got either my i think probably my surging got stuck up inside of it and we heard speedle making some really awfully awful noises and we opened it up and shh, this whole corner is shredded so that was a big old whoo so of course i had to re-dye that and then since i re-dyed this linen at least I had that Lugana there that I was able to take a photo mm -hmm. of the damaged Lugana, just not that part of it. And because um, I was going to use my dope one. What's that? Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to know. Uh, the, the Lugana with linen, but the Ada, it's all gone. I have none here. Mm -hmm. And then um, almond milk, none. I have nothing. So I have the Jobelin, so I mean, I'll have something to take a picture of. And what I'm thinking of is our website in six months, like when we release these colors. Right. That's that's where I'm like all disappointed. And I always put them on Facebook too. So I was just so excited to get these colors out and done. We have a lot. But that's okay. That's my mistakes. Bad mistakes. Bad mm -hmm. mom. Um, so what projects am I taking to StitchCon? Unfortunately, if I'm not finished with this, this will go. I'm really hoping I'll be finished. Um, I am taking the cozy, not cozy cafe, that's what I always call it. Maple Lane, that, mm, yeah, Sal. Even if I get 200 stitches in it, it's better than nothing. Um, I'm going to take my fox. Even though I know me, I'm probably not going to get much Saturday stitching done. Mm-hmm that's the day we leave Sunday Sunday stitching because that's the day we leave um I would love to take yours and heroines I mean that I got so much done on at mm -hmm. the small retreat but there's no room you, I can't take a huge project like yeah that. it's just no <laughs> that's a big old no not happening um I don't know you guys could help me 
maybe. Tell me what projects you'd like to see in person. Um, put them down in the comments. Um, next week we will do our drawing for our winner of our mirabilia. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have gotten some great comments. Like I love, we're reading, like oh, I've been reading all the comments of pe what people are stitching and what their favorite mirabilias are. Mm -hmm. And I love, I love, I love seeing all the differences. There are some that are recurring. Um, there's quite a few that are so What's your comment? Uh, I have too many videos I'm working on. Yeah. Um, so yeah, what should I take? What would you like to see in person? If you've seen any of our whip parades or what I've been working mm -hmm. on recently. Um, cause I don't know. I'm just kind of at a loss. Hey Stop baby. eating hair. Yeah. We don't want her having another hairball. Um, so yeah, plans are kind of up in the air on that. Um, I mean, maybe Amazing Grace will go because it's small enough. It's full coverage. So I probably will take that. Just You should take Snow White. Which Sleeping one? Beauty. Oh, I should take Snow White. You're right. It's Snow White. Um, Primitive Hair. Oh, yeah, do that. I didn't know you had a Snow White. Guess what? I don't need your help. I got hers. But if you think there's something better, let me know. Uh, or in addition, because you never know. I might get bored of it. Because I love it love 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 primitive hair but sometimes it can get a little tedious and boring because like there's a huge section of one color which is great when you're chatting i mean we have a good table we know already who some of the people are stitching with so i should get a good amount done mm. last year at stitch con it was just I didn't, getting to know people we either were walking around not mm. stitching or we were just sitting there not chatting a lot and i know it's hard to believe right but so all I did was sit there stitch. Mm. So staring at that one color can get boring. You ate already. Can you tell your stomach that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just leftovers. Oh, okay. So if you're interested at all, I was going to put it at the end of the video, but my husband recorded in the different orientation. And when I upload them to YouTube, it just looks funny. Mm -hmm. So my son sang today. It's his first solo. He freaked himself out last night realizing... This is his first solo in 16 years. He hasn't sung at church by himself. He's sung with his sisters. Mm -hmm. But he's not sung by himself since he was six years old. Um, yeah. So he sang today and I played for him. And I have that on my Facebook. Yeah, I have it on my Facebook mm -hmm. page. But if you guys would like to see it, I can always drop it in our group. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, nobody has to feel obligated to listen to it. But I think he did a pretty good job. She's his sister. Yeah. <laughs> That's all they need to use it. Uh, it was it freaked me out a little bit, though, because, you know, I'm sitting at this piano. It's a grand piano. So they have it up and it's, you can't really see the person at the pulpit really well unless you're like looking out like that. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't. Uh, I looked out to see when he wanted me to start. And then I'm playing and I'm waiting kind of hear him sing. You're expecting it to come from here. Oh. And they have a speaker right here that I didn't know about. And so all of a sudden I hear his voice coming at me like loud from right here. It just totally freaked me out for a moment. And then I gathered my senses and continued. But yep. he sounded pretty good through that speaker. Um, is there anything else coming up? Uh, <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> uh, Fame Shop's going along. Very well. Uh, got some stuff done. Have some people come in thinking they can frame something a certain way and it's impossible. Like, just the way she wanted it done. It's funny. Um, but I know what I'm doing for the most part, trying to like help people explain what gets done. Um, but like definitely back in the frame shop. Although, we're mostly stitchers here. So if you're getting stuff framed, it's probably your stitching. So this is probably something you can't do. It's like, if you want a metal frame, then please no. I don't like the metal frames. And like, a worst combination in there is when they want the spacers. Like, I got those in my thing. Um, There's just not enough room. On the museum glass and in a metal frame. And this thing needed dry mounted. Like, just, I don't like spacers on museum glass. And then trying to get it into the metal frame that I had to assemble. Like, yeah, there's just not a lot of room right so, yeah, now. Definitely, like, if you need a lot, go with the wood one. I love the wood ones. Just taking it off and be like, okay, here's the frame. So. She's so adorable. Aww. 
she's just snoozing. Can I just say how hot it is here? So it's 90 degrees here now. Ooh. We walked out of church. My husband freaked me out on the way home today. Mm -hmm. So we're driving home. We, we take two cars because he leaves church and goes to work. Mm -hmm. So we're coming home and he calls me and he's like, my temperature gauge is reading at like 90 99. Two. No, no. No, he said it when he first got oh, in, it went yeah, 99 it 99. to 97. Yeah, it went to 97. Mm -hmm. But I'm, like, thinking he means his car temperature gauge, like, mm. that he's in the... And I'm like, do I have to turn around? Do I have to drive him to oh. work? He works an hour away. Like, I'm just kind of freaking out. Like, I did not want to be in a car for hours today. Um, Just... So, anyway, then he's like, oh, it came down to 97. He goes, what temperature is it really? I'm like, it's 80. <laughs> My watch is saying 80. And uh, it was... So, it came down to 90. But, you know, it was his outside temperature gauge because it's just been sitting in the sun mm -hmm. all during church so i did come down more as he was driving but yeah i he scared the living daylights out of me <laughs> thinking that his car was overheating and uh, i was like i'm not ready for this and all that because mm -hmm. his car's kind of old so i don't want to make those decisions quite yet don't die on us yeah. yeah please don't die on us we can't find a car for colleen right now like it's <laughs> the market for cars is just not there right now mm -hmm. you know and i even thought of like looking at new cars but nobody has like the zero percent apr right now so it's like uh what was it zero percent apr what's it? annual percent rate so that you don't have to pay interest if you pay it off in a certain amount of time hmm. so i was just like there's nothing right now it stinks and we have friends out looking my husband's constantly looking like the used car market is just not there because yeah. we don't want to buy our car with 130,000 miles on it. I mean, if we end up having to, we have to, but mm. hopefully she can pay a thousand dollars for that. At least it's in a color that I like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can pay a thousand dollars and drive your three minutes to work. Wait, what? I said if one's 130,000 miles, you pay a thousand dollars for it. You drive it your three minutes to work uh, and three minutes home. You yeah, know, that's that's because I don't like have to drive distances. Yeah, like so if she ends up with a high mileage car, you know, and can pay cash for it, that's one thing. Right, because then she can still save money for a better car when the market is yeah. decent. So. And I have a good amount saved up, so yeah. But anyway, so that's our life. You, you got the whole life update and everything else coming in. So my husband is turning 47. 47. Um, exciting. On Wednesday, he and Alan are going down to Sight and Sound and they're going to watch. That's right. We, what's it called? David. David. Oh, yeah. that's going to be cool. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel about the theater now as much as I feel about movie theater. Like really? So, cause you went to Broadway. I went to Esther, and you went to Esther. That was pretty big. It's, I remember seeing Joseph. Like it's hard. Uh, I have to be sitting up, and then like my husband must be in the middle and being oh, able to you like be immersed. To be from the side? I need to be up and from the side so I can kind of see everything. Oh, I like, but I can't. I can't take it all in. Like, oh. <laughs> like I have to, and yeah. then I miss everything, and I'm just my head. I get dizzy. So it's not an enjoyable experience anymore. So Alan and him, that was Alan's gift to him, is taking him. So they'll have they'll have a good day and then I guess we're in Cheesecake Factory for dinner. Not dinner, for dessert. We'll see if he'll bring some home with him. Mm. So okay. Anyway. So that's that's the biggest thing I guess happening for us this week. Yeah. Besides me dying. Alright. You be ready to be done? Mm -hmm. She's she's sleeping away, but alright. Happy stitching!